Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel, I'm AK. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of elevated button with loading effect. So you don't need any package, you can just use Flutter widgets to create this kind of uh, fancy loading effect button, all right? So this is very useful when you want to call a future function that completes after some time, and you can, uh, while waiting for that task to be completed, you can show this loading effect and disable any kind of touch event. All right. So let's get started. Here, as you can see, I have main.dart uh, main file. And in that file, I have a main function that runs my app. Uh, my app is a stateless widget, which returns material app. And mater in material app, I just added theme a little bit uh, to make it a little bit fancier. And I have this home screen widget as a, uh, as a home page of this material app, all right? So if I go into that file, this is this file, home screen.dart, and there I have this button, okay? Home screen is a stateful widget. I made it stateful because I want to set the state when I tap on this uh, button and show this uh, loading effect, all right? So there I have just one variable, load, uh, which, which t gets toggled every time uh, I press on this one, okay? And it, enables me to show that loading effect. So I have a scaffold. Um, in that scaffold, I have app bar. As you can see, it's just flutter loading button, this one. So we, don't, we are not going to focus on that. And here on the body, I have the button, uh, the one I already created to show you uh, the, the result, which we will actually uh, get at the end of the, this video. All right, so I will remove this button for now. I'll just remove it and we are going to create our own. All right, so center. Now, as you can see, I just have uh, app bar and body, which has center widget. Okay, we have nothing here and we start creating our button uh, from this point. First of all, I'll give it a child and to, to that, uh, that this child is going to take elevated button as a uh, child okay and elevated button takes child we will give it just text for now and for text I will just write load all right and another required property of elevated button is on pressed uh, we give that uh, on pressed function so as you can see now I have elevated button that has child uh, which takes text widget and on pressed function which is empty for now so as you can see, this is the uh, this is our button for now, and we let's actually style it a little bit. To elevated button, you can you can give uh, styling. Uh, for that, you need to use style property of elevated button, and we can use default styling of elevated button and add some uh, our own custom styling to that. Okay, we don't have to write everything from scratch. We can use default value and we can change some of it to our liking. So for that, elevated uh, button dot style from, okay? Now we are getting all the default styling of elevated button here, and we want to actually change some style uh, here inside it. So first of all, I want to give it a shape, okay? I want to make it uh, rounded. So for that, we can, uh, we can use rounded rectangular border okay rounded rectangular border and it had it takes uh, side and border radius uh, as as properties right so so i want to use um border radius oops border radius and for that you, we can use border radius of circular and i'll set it to 50 okay if i save it as you can see, now our uh, button is uh, rounded, okay? It has a border radius. Now let's give it a size as well. I want to make this button a little bit bigger, uh, as I showed you at the beginning of this video. So for that, we can use fixed size of the button, of this elevated button, and fixed size gets size uh, as a value, and size has uh, width and height. Okay, for width, I want to give just 200. Uh, and for height, I want to give probably 50. Okay, 50 should be good. 
like this. So as you can see, our button is bigger. Now, if I tap on it, it just does nothing. There is just some animated effect and that's it. it it's not showing that loading effect. So now we want to add that loading effect. So for that, I want to come here and first of all, uh, okay, let's leave it like this for now. Uh, first of all, I want to toggle this text widget, which is a child of this elevated button to uh, a, what is it? Mm, circular progress indicator. Yeah, that's the widget, circular progress indicator. Now let's just remove this text button for now. I'll just uh, cut it and I'll paste it later. Uh, uh, we can use circular uh, circular progress indicator widget. Flutter has this kind of widget, circular progress indicator, and it actually it, it is a widget that that kind of spins. Uh, and if I save it, you can actually see it, what that is. Okay, so now it is not it's not showing up because the color is uh, the the color should be amber. I mean the color should be the same as the button color. That's why. That's why you're not seeing it. Maybe I can change the color to colors of black. Oops, not like that. Colors dot black. If I change it, no, okay, blue accent, that's all right as well. If I change it, yeah, you can see. It. Now we have this uh, progress indicator. It's just loading and loading and loading. So now we want to toggle this. Uh, when we tap on, tap on this button, we want to change this to loading effect. And initially we want to show the text widget, okay? So for it, we can set a condition. Here I have load, right? Uh, load variable, which is false initially. And if we change this variable, if we toggle this variable, uh, we want to show this uh, circular progress indicator or hide it, okay? First of all, uh, I will use it, load, and if it's true, uh, load question mark if it's true I want to show circle progress indicator just like this I'm using Turner operator here okay so else else I want to use this text widget okay so this is what I want to use if I save it it just shows the text for now because uh, initially this load as you can see here it is false so now when we tap on this we want to show that load and for it we can just use set state mm, set state inside that set state we can change load right load to true okay if we set this to true uh, and i save it if i tap on it now it shows this effect all right now actually you get the idea maybe you from this point on you can uh you can continue the rest so i was i just i will just uh complete it and I'll show you, I'll give you the final result. So here, uh, I don't want the color to be like this and I don't want the, the size of this um, circle progress indicator like this. I want to make it smaller, okay? So let's give it a little bit of styling. So I don't need this blue color. It has a default color, which is amber, the same uh, color as the theme of this app. So I just want to give it size, you know, for that, you can wrap it with sized box. If you wrap this uh, circle progress indicator with sized widget, you can actually set the size for uh, for this. I want to give it height, height probably 30, that should be enough. And width, uh, for the width, I want to give uh, 30 as well, because the, the, the width and height should be the same to make uh, it look uh, like a circle, okay? And I, let's change it to const so that we can remove this warning. So that's it. As you can see now, we don't see anything because the color is like that. So when I tap on it, now you see, can you see that? So here, it's actually loading. So when we tap on this, we want to change the background color of this button as well. And we want to give some border to this button. So basically for it, uh, when this load is true, let's come here on pressed. If it if the load variable is true, 
I want to disable on tap event. Okay, uh, now. Else, um, I want to give this function. Okay, so if I do that, then as you can see now, because our load variable is true, uh, we have this uh, loading going on. All right, you get the idea for this one. And I want to change the background of it, and then I want to give some border. So here I come to uh, styling, and I want to give uh, the disabled background color. Okay, not that disabled, uh, disabled background color. I want to give just white, not that S colors of white. Okay, what is that? Sorry for the typo. Colors of white. If I change it, now it should be white. Okay, now as you can see, it's white. And we want to make sure that it looks like a button. So I can give it a border for it. You can just come into rounded rectangular border. And there it has a side. For that, you can give a border side and border side takes color and width and we just need to color okay colors of mm, colors of amber oh i want to use this amber color because it's this is the a theme color of this app okay as you can see now we have the loading button we saw initially okay i want to make this const let's let's set this con const as well okay I think now you get the idea. Now we want to uh, remove this loading as soon as our um, task is completed. Okay, for it, I come to this function. Okay, let's actually copy this function. I'll copy it and I create a new function down here. Okay, inside our stateless widget. So I want to. Uh, set the name of that function uh, okay let's say start load okay this is going to be the function i want okay let's do it like that okay. as you can see now we have this function start load and we can use this function here we can call this function just right here and now if you want to disable that uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to do some future function, okay? I want to uh, use a flutters future delete, mm, future dot delete function, and it takes duration. Uh, that duration, let's wait uh, three seconds, okay? I want to wait three seconds, and then after waiting three seconds, I want to copy this one and come down here I'll wait three seconds and change that to false so basically this is kind of our uh, what is it task future task that needs to be completed and after this is done uh, it will remove this loading effect async let's if we give it like this it, it, it enables us to use this await keyword okay now uh, let's actually reload okay now our button is reset if i come here and tap on it as you can see it loads it starts loading and done so because of this function uh, our button uh, shows that loading effect first of all we are setting load uh, variable to true and then we are uh, waiting for three seconds so you can call any function here and uh, wait for it and after that after three seconds passed which means our task is completed and we s reset the load okay we set the load back to false again so as soon as this load changes here as you can see on pressed uh, set is set to null which means this elevated button is is disabled okay if on pressed is null uh, the elevated button it gets disabled uh, that's the thing and also uh, when this is true we are showing circle progress indicator here as you can see all right if it's not then we are uh, showing the this text widget 
So that's basically it. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like it, you can uh, give it a like and subscribe to this channel. And also, if you want the source code of this uh, button, uh, elevated button with loading effect, I'll give the link in the description so you can get it from there. So see you in the next video.